Hello, viewers! The epic event of the Raid Shadow Legends series has come to an end. Ten episodes were released, revealing the game's storyline, revealing some secrets, and answering the questions that players have been asking. There was also a quiz throughout the event where players had to enter the correct promo codes hidden in each episode. In this video, we will review the plots of all the episodes and I will show you all the codes hidden in them. Grab some popcorn, put on your 3D glasses, open the window in full screen, and let's get started. And if you are a new viewer and have not yet started the game, I suggest you dive into the description. There is a cool bonus link for you that will give you two epic champions to start with. Lightsworn for registering and Lady Quillen for reaching level 25 and 200,000 silver. Also, after training, enter the newbie promo code DASPIEL23 Chinaru in the game to get the champion Chinaru and 300,000 silver. Log in for seven consecutive days after registration and you will receive the epic champion Shaman. Here is the combination you can get in just one week of playing. Simply overwhelming. Fast leveling, confident start, advantage over other players guaranteed. Let's start the series. Episode 1, Gaelic. The first frames of the episode show us the orc invaders who have attacked the castle of Banner Lords, one of the factions. Gaelic opens the castle gates and a crowd of green-skinned people led by Artak rush into the castle, slaughtering everyone in their path. It is not a pleasant sight and the protagonist of the episode himself reflects on it. While wandering through the ruined fortress, he has a vision in which the Arbiter tells him that he must make his choice, that he is not like all the orcs. After that, Gaelic's angry father starts giving a speech about how humans are to blame for everything, how they are the invaders, and then he publicly executes a family of the castle's inhabitants. With no mercy in his eyes, Artak kills the man and orders Gaelic to execute the woman and child. After this, a moral choice is made. Gaelic kills the orc with his father's axe, takes a woman and child, and runs across the rooftops to the pier. Unfortunately, there is a fall from the roof on the way, and due to unfortunate circumstances, Gaelic continues to escape to the pier with only the child. Next, at the pier, Gaelic fights Artak, and Artak loses his hand, and Gaelic sails off into the sunset, and after some time, we see Gaelic leaving the girl at the school of the Sacred Order. I remind you that the promo codes for the series are entered in this event window, nowhere else. You select the episode and enter the appropriate quiz code. The first promo code for the choice quiz gives players 3 days of premium, energy, and a multi-battle set, useful for all players. Episode 2, Aethel. The first images show the grandeur of the Sacred Order's fortress, where two students are being trained in the training hall, and one of them reminds us of someone. It's the little girl Gaelic saved. Aethel. The warden summons Aethel for an audience and, in her office, condemns her for her penchant for forbidden knowledge and the fact that it contains heresy. While she is serving her punishment, her friend brings her food and asks her to stop seeking forbidden information. As with Gaelic, the Arbiter is a heroine, showing a forbidden library and giving Aethel a mark that gives her strength. And in the following frames, we see her actively progressing, understanding her relationship with her friend, and systematically planning her escape. Not an easy task to escape from the castle, so she was probably caught trying to escape, then decided to fight her way out, with her friend and new magical superpowers helping her. She then bids her friend farewell and sets off in search of the truth the Arbiter told her. The promo code for the second episode, Arbiter, also offers a number of bonuses, silver, an epic skill tome, and full energy. Episode 3, Kale. From the first frames, we are told that there are two races of elves, the Dark Elves and the High Elves. After centuries of fighting, a truce has been declared and negotiations are underway to determine the terms of peace. But Queen Eva has an advisor named Elaine who tried to convey the information that the Dark and High Elves had more in common, but she was ignored. Even at the meeting, those present laughed at her, but there was one among them who saw something special in Elaine, Kale. After that, Kale decided to show Aethel a hidden cave that held the answers to how to cleanse his race's reputation and how everything was in the hands of the High Elves. Not only did they delve into secrets, but they also got to know each other, and love blossomed between them. They promised each other that they would meet again at this place after their next meeting, but sadly, after several days of waiting, Kale was furious that he had been betrayed. Meanwhile, peace talks between the two sides had failed and the Dark Elves began to wage war in secret. 
a party led by Kale landed at the palace. Sneaking past the guards, Kale decided to break in alone to destroy the queen, but he was met with a surprise in the form of Elaine. The third promo code of the third episode, Betrayal, gives a great set of resources, a whopping 40 brews of two elements and a whopping 150,000 silver. Episode 4, Elaine. All the while, Elaine has been fighting on a new front, but now with the demons and with great success. She was later appointed commander of the elite guard. Afterwards, she hurried back to the secret cave for a meeting, but there was nothing there but the ruins of ancient structures and the second half of the amulet. Later, when they met in the castle, something clicked for both of them. First, they defeated the dark elves surrounding them. Then, they barricaded themselves against the castle guards, and just as the guards' blades were about to break through the barrier, Arbiter appeared to protect them and transport them somewhere. The fourth code of the fourth episode is Harmony. Like all the other codes, provides a small amount of resources, but it is a decent reward available to all players. Episode 5, Arbiter. This episode is no longer about plot development, but about backstory and answers to questions that might arise for the viewer. Let's call it a hub episode. All the heroes gathered at the fortress where part of the Arbiter's armor was kept. Our four heroes fought long and hard among themselves to get possession of the mask, but she appears. The referee reveals to the audience the secret that there is a developing evil that is ready to break free, and it is 100% connected to demons somehow. She reconciles the four of them and tells them that they have a long journey ahead of them, and that they need a guide to show them the way to the place where the final battle will be fought. The fifth promo code, Destiny, also provides a wonderful set of resources that will help you in your journey through the game. Enter it while the promo with the series is still active. Episode 6, Jizzo. At the very beginning, the Arbiter says that it is Jizzo who is in the dungeon and will be the leader. The hero of the episode turns out to have been imprisoned for a crime he did not commit, and now he is without a hand which was cut off by the prison guards and spends years behind bars. He draws on the walls with charcoal and communicates with the neighbor through the wall. Gaelic calls for the grate, and Aethel starts asking questions from her seat, showing a picture of the Arbiter's armor. Jizzo reluctantly finds a common language with the heroes and leads them through the sewers to the artifact, which incidentally is next to the spider's den. The hero's difficult fate leads them straight to the boss, and they engage in a thrilling battle in which the spider's legs are cut off. Apart from victory, this battle could not have ended any other way, and in the skeleton's embrace was the same artifact, the Arbiter's Armor. And from that moment on, Jizzo becomes part of the team, not only with a weapon instead of a hand, but also with new friends. The sixth promo code is Infested. Like all the codes, it provides a number of resources to help you level up. It's good that all the codes can be entered on a beginner's account and receive a huge amount of bonuses and resources. Episode 7, Newt. It begins with a small celebration, joyful dances, boundless fun, and little intrigues. The next day, an expedition leaves the fortress, led by Newt. He bids farewell to his relatives, listens to words of encouragement, and sets off for the ancient gnome stronghold which has been captured by an evil spirit. On the spot, the brave gnomes rushed to attack and destroy the intruder. Literally hours later, Kale and Elaine arrived to find the same gnomes lying on the ground outside the entrance to the main hall, burnt and covered with stones. Only Newt had survived. After a short dialogue, the three of them set off to find this evil spirit, and believe it or not, it turned out to be the Fire Knight. The battle was fierce, Kale and Elaine defending each other as best they could, the boss's shield absorbing almost all attacks, but the decisive blow was, as you might have guessed, dealt by Newt. One of the Arbiter's artifacts was on the Fire Knight's shield, and the gnomes regained their ancient possessions. The seventh promotional code is Artifact. The code is the same as the others. It provides resources in the form of full energy, a three-day premium, and a set of multi-battle. It's nice to have stability in terms of resources, but it would be great to get a champion or shards. Episode 8, Allure. Everyone has the right to salvation. With these words, the story of young Allure begins. We are shown a memory, the day her mother died and she almost said goodbye to life. It was then that she was aided by the necromancer, who promised to make her stronger in light of Allure's mother's death, and she accepted this offer. A little later, in the present day, Kale, Aethel, and Newt are trying to find one of the last artifacts guarded by the Demon Lord. 
During the fierce battle, a collapse occurred and Elaine tried to escape, but ended up buried under the rubble far from Kale. Miraculously, she found herself near the sought-after artifact, the Sword of the Arbiter. Elaine examined the sword and realized there was something wrong with it, so she didn't touch it. Suddenly, Allura attacked her. It was clear from the start that Elaine would not be able to handle the fight, having just fought the Demon Lord. The Demoness grabs the sword and tries to finish off Elaine, but luckily, Kale and Newt drive Allura away in time, and she escapes with the artifact to Bad Alcazar, the Necromancer. And already in the Undead Fortress, the Necromancer praised her for the artifact she had obtained, deceiving her into drawing the sword from its sheath and touching the blade so that the curse on the sword struck a lure and she began to die. The promo code for the 8th episode is REVENGE. It gives you full energy, an epic skill tome, and 100,000 silver. The most ordinary code, nothing new to say. The bonuses allow you to level up some epic characters and develop a little. Episode 9, Bad Alcazar. This episode tells the story of the creation of the main villain, Bad Alcazar. In his youth, Valkanen, as our villain was called, studied at the School of Magic and Sorcery, excelled in everything, performed unusual spells, but there was someone who turned out to be better in everything, his rival and sworn enemy, Arian. He even took his girlfriend away from him, and all this accumulated in Valkanen. But one day, through the mirror in his room, evil began to call him, and Syrod himself approached him and tried to recruit the poor student which the young student of the magic school fell for and received a mark. And once again, seeing his mortal enemy, he decided to show off by summoning Syrat. But it turns out that the magic he summoned killed everyone around him, making him a sacrifice. And with mixed feelings, he hides and crosses over to another dimension using the mirror in his room. Allure says that Bad Alcazar wants to open the gates of the Tower of Darkness and let evil in. The Arbiter's magic was able to remove Elaine, giving Allure a second chance at life and revenge. Ninth episode promo code, Ambition. This gives you the chance to get 20 Force Brews, 20 Void Brews, and 100,000 Silver. This is enough to level up a few champions and save time for beginners just starting out. Tenth episode, The Tower. From the start, we are immersed in the action at the foot of the Doom Tower. All of our beloved heroes are facing fierce resistance from the Minotaur, the Ice Golem, and the Dragon. The champion's power is not limitless, so they decided to work as a team to destroy each boss, one by one, just like in the game. The Minotaur was split in half, the Ice Golem received a blow from Jizo, and the Dragon took an axe to the head from Newt. Meanwhile, at the top of the tower, Kazar was performing his dark ritual, which would summon the greatest evil to Teleria, not only to release all the monsters from the Doom Tower, but also to give Kazar new power. It's not that simple. Every minute counts. In the tower, the champions battled their shadow copies, common monsters, and a pesky boss, but they made slow progress, and when they reached the lift, Gaelic decided to cheat a little and cut the lift chains to get to the top in seconds. At the top of the tower, the antagonist of the whole plot awaited them, and Bad Alcazar drops an interesting line. So it begins again. This means that the story of the tower has repeated itself many times. Our champions try to attack, but all attempts are in vain. Behind them appeared Allure, speaking directly to her adoptive father, saying that she would use the power of the Arbiter to achieve her goals of revenge. The champion's second attack was equally unsuccessful, and Kazar taunted them, saying that the Arbiter was nothing. But then, unexpectedly, the ritual began to weaken, and the Arbiter herself materialized from the collected artifacts, and all the champions, emboldened, rushed to attack. And to the triumphant music, episode 10 ended. And the final 2D ending clearly hints at a sequel. Promo code for episode 10, UNITED. Traditionally, you get a good set of resources, and this is the last bonus of the first season, so grab it while it lasts. We have completed this challenge. 10 episodes, 10 secret promo codes, 10 weeks, but all these events suggest that the second season is inevitable. We can only rejoice, because the bonuses you have given us are very useful. I think it's worth being active in the comments. Say which episode you liked best. The developers are watching our channel, and if they see hundreds of good comments, I think they will definitely be motivated for another season. Don't forget that to get an epic hero in the Raid Shadow Legends, the bonus link is always in the description. Go ahead and get the coolest epics for your collection. Thank you for watching.
subscribe to the channel, and leave a like. And I have also selected two interesting videos for you to watch. Goodbye, everyone.